In this video, we'll explore how we can use a number of tools within CADI, including the AEC build tools to make the design and production of models and drawings, so that's plans, elevations, for industrial units very, very quick and very, very easy. So we'll have a number of tools which we'll employ, but we'll finish up with a drawing that has all of the ingredients that we'll need, so the building grid, so the label construction grid there, so A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. There we've got our, our steel work. Now, Caddy provides both 2D and 3D options for the steel work. We're just going to go with the 2D one because you might just be getting a plan in from, say, a structural engineer, for instance. So we'll take that as our starting point. And we have, on top of that, we have our AEC walls. So just panning around here. So we have our AEC walls, which give us the, the full makeup, so that's a wall style, so it has everything we need within it, so that can be a 3D object. And we can see in our model space viewports here that we're selecting that, it highlights it as a single object. And then we have our doors too, so these again are single objects which include all the bollards as well. So we've got the vision panel, we've got the bollard, all as part of a door which we can insert in one single operation. We also have here, AEC dimensions. So we have our AEC dimensions with different representations there, and we can have them so they automatically take account of the objects we insert within our walls. So that's where we're going to finish up, and we'll also end up with a 3D model, which we can also produce a rendered model from. So we'll have a rendered view, complete with any symbols that we might want to bring in. So here we have a, a commuter vehicle, so we have the building, we've also got some trim around, so we'll see how we can put that around too. But the trim around the doors and the bollards, as I say, they all come from inserting in a single operation. And we're going to put in our building grid. Now we don't have to draw those as individual lines, we can use the apps tool. So here we're going to go through the apps, and in this case the SA Arch apps and the ERF. There are a couple of building grids within Caddy, as well as the overall grid, and I like this one particularly because you can have multi-spaced grids, so you can just type in commas and then the different separations. We have the circle size as well, so that's where the text will go, and OK to that, and that will give us our building grid, and we'll see that we have within it the 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, and so on. I want to now place on that building grid the steelwork. So again, back to our apps tools, and this time we'll go for the steel application. So we'll go for the steel beaming section. As I say, we do have 3D ones in CADE 2, but this is just a 2D one. We have different profiles, lots of different profiles, all the profiles you could need there. So you choose the profile, you choose the orientation, and here down through the sizes, and I'm going to go with the 356, 1767. So OK that, so here we are, I'll just place it down on the grid. Having placed it on the grid, I could choose to copy it manually, so picking it up and saying copy and so forth, but we can do much better than that. I can go for modify and I could go for the transformations and I could choose matrix, for instance. So here we have our grid spacing of 6 metres, we have 18 metres in the y direction and then the number that we want, but here I'll just say OK to that. And if I just zoom out a little bit so we can see where we are, we'll see that it places all of those in the drawing straight away. In fact, here, let's just maximise our viewport so that you can see everything in much greater detail. Having got our still working, we'll set about putting in the walls. We're going to do these from polyline, so we could go to the build, the command to draw, command and so on, but if I just go to something as simple as polyline, so I'll we'll just choose an auto snap, pick on the corner there, drag down to the other, the other corner, place our polyline in. Now, there's our polyline. Under the context toolbar, we have offsets, so I know that I need uh, an offset of 135 till we get to the cladding, so, so Early will be and so on, so okay that. So I'll just zoom out a little bit, and there's our polyline. I don't actually need the internal one now, so we can be rid of that one, but it does give us our external envelope. 
So this is, will be the starting point, the setting out point for our wall. And right clicking over our drawing here, we have convert as one of the options, convert to. And we're going to convert it to a wall. So we'll convert it to a wall. The arrow shows us the direction that the polyline was drawn in. So we have our wall height. We can choose the wall style that we wish. OK to that. And there, that's drawn in the complete wall. So if we have a look in here, we've got our complete wall drawn. Having got our walls, we could elect to add the dimensions now. So here we'll add the AEC dimensions. So we see our dimensions here. We can choose a particular style that we wish to use. And we'll just set them back so far from the building. Okay. So the AEC dimensions, they give us a click on, on there, and we'll just drop those in. So at the moment, that's just showing the same distances. But as we introduce objects within our walls, they will automatically pick up our dimensions. In fact, just to make them stand out of them all, let's just change the pen color on there. So we can change how they look. So we can be, uh, use them as we would ordinarily use our dimensions. But I'm just going to literally pick my wall and bring that in and I'll just choose to drop down onto the intersection there, up to the intersection there and then into our wall. Now coming into this particular corner, let's just move to there so we can see our dimensions in shot as well. We can bring in, say, one of the windows. So if we drag in a window here, so this is, this will come in complete with all the trim around it and we'll literally just pick a, a position B so that gives us our position there for our window. We can go back to our catalogue, we can bring in our door and we can very similarly bring in our door. So we just toggle it around till we get to where we want it to be. If I just press region you'll see that those dimensions automatically come into my drawing. And if we further decide that actually we want to bring in the centre lines for our steelwork, our building grid, if we pick on our AC dimension, we can add in the centre lines there. So just bringing them in, choose our overhead door, and again, just getting out far enough so we can see the AC dimensions, come down our catalogue, go for the industrial overhead door, bring it in, and then you can copy that and just copy it across. Okay, and we'll see that we have the dimensions automatically updating as we do that. And then the final one here, and that gives us our finished plan. If we go to a three-dimensional view, we'll see that whilst we have the roof on the original, we haven't on here. So we'll put that in now. We'll go to a solid, solid view. Because if we go for our AEC build tools, on the roof, we have the option there, polyline circle. We can put in what type of roof you want. So we've got gable, now we've got hipped. We can just toggle through all of the different types of roofs. So the gable roof possibly very useful for industrial buildings too. But we're just going to go with the gable roof. Click on the polyline and that's produced our roof. Now, of course, we wanted a gable roof. So this is asking us for the position for the gable now. So we can just turn around into a plan view and that will allow us just to not only put the gable on there, but indicate the wall to trim up to that roof too. Here we're going to create the 2D elevational views. So, how do we do that? Well, very simple and straightforward. We just use the build tools again. Vertical section, in essence an elevation. So we'll just start our elevation here. We can use the polar tracking to make sure that we're nice and orthogonal to the building. Right click, option end, drag the extents of our view, and we'll place the view. And then for the end elevation, very similar, quick section. 
right click option end to the other end of the building and we'll place our elevation there. So having generated our plan and elevations, we can now look to our 3D model. With all the shutter doors, bollards, and so on, we'll have the output to the screen. We can adjust the tone mapping within our, our model. And in our views, we can incorporate any vehicles, people, or anything of that nature that we want to. So this incorporates the model within the scene. It includes shadows. So these are the shadows projecting onto the overhead roller shutter doors there and giving us something that would enable us to convince our clients much more of what we're trying to provide for them. So there we have a very quick way of creating those industrial buildings, producing the 2D plans, 2D elevations, 3D models and the three-dimensional renders too. Discover many more Caddy tutorial videos on the Caddy Software channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for frequent news and updates. And why not download your own evaluation copy and try out Caddy for yourself? And whilst you're evaluating, you can get free help and advice via the live support on the website or through the numbers given on screen.